Happy Scrums Day 10. Let's see what the stocking has in store for us today. Ta-da! This is a brightening turmeric exfoliating face wash. So I do kind of have a lot to say about this face wash. First off, it's a face wash. So it lathers and foams. And it also has red ho-ho-ba beads. Ho-ho-ho-ba beads. Ho-ho-ho. It has red ho-ho-ba beads in it. And that acts as the exfoliant. Then I also added in turmeric extract because you guys are constantly asking for brightening turmeric products. So I figured turmeric face wash and then make it brightening with some NAG because NAG is an ingredient that helps brighten the skin. It's also really easy to use. Typically you guys are asking for like a kojic acid face wash, but kojic acid is a more advanced ingredient to work with. So that is why I am constantly promoting NAG on my channel because I think NAG is a great ingredient for beginners to formulate with to still get that brightening effect. And then of course it has vitamin C in it. It actually has tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. It's an oil soluble version of vitamin C. It's much more active than ascorbic acid, which is the typical vitamin C that you would see in products, even though a lot of products use vitamin C derivatives because they're more, they're less likely to destabilize because ascorbic acid has to be formulated within a specific way and it destabilizes so easy. So that's why I personally use tetrahexyl decal ascorbate as my vitamin C because it's not light sensitive, it's not air sensitive. It's just so easy to work with and it is oil soluble as well but the surfactants in this formula help solubilize that little bit of vitamin C that's in it. And this doesn't have a, a uh, fragrance oil in it or anything, because I don't like using fragrance on my face. But if you want to add like 0.5% to 1% in this, it should mix in along with the oil soluble tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. Typically, I wouldn't put expensive active ingredients in a face wash, but I know this is kind of a type of product that has been heavily requested. I know people like to see like body washes, face washes, any kind of wash off product with these amazing actives. And I think it's because big brands are, seem to be like now making like body washes and wash off products with actives. But the thing that like the average consumer doesn't realize when you're using actives in a wash off product, it doesn't really give the skin enough time to really benefit from those actives. There may be some actives out there that are okay to use in wash off products like salicylic acid, but for the most part, you wanna save your expensive actives for leave on products. I just you know wanted to share something that I think you guys are going to like. So that's why I made it. Oftentimes I make things because I think you guys wanna see them, not because like it's something that I would typically do, if that makes any sense. But yeah, let's just get into it so you guys can make a brightening turmeric jelly exfoliating face wash or whatever you wanna call it. I don't know, that's a long name. Begin with a sanitized container and add in xanthan gum soft. Next, you're gonna add in some glycerin. It could be propendiol or propylene glycol, but I'm just gonna use glycerin. It's the cheapest and easiest to find. And next I'm gonna add in the colorant. This is Flotation Device from Mad Mica. This is like a neon vibrant orange. It's the first time I've ever used it and love the results. It looks so awesome. And you wanna make sure you combine all this together because the xanthan gum and glycerin needs to mix together first so it, the xanthan gum doesn't chunk up because that's what's gonna be thickening everything up. And next, grab another container with distilled water and add in some blood orange hydrosol. This adds a nice orange scent to the product, but you could just use water instead if you want. And then go ahead and add in the turmeric extract and make sure it's water soluble turmeric extract. And lastly, NAG. I will link this ingredient down below so you can read more about it, but it's a brightening ingredient to help fade dark spots, brighten the skin, even the complexion. It's so easy to work with. And I love this brightening ingredient, which is why I'm using it. And then lastly, for this phase, we're gonna add in the preservative. I'm using Liquid Dermal Plus, but you can use whatever preservative you want. And just go ahead and make sure everything is well combined in phase B. And next we're gonna move on to phase C. So phase C includes foaming apple, which is my anionic surfactant. This is gonna be cleansing the skin and making the product lather. And then I'm gonna add in cocomethylpropyl betaine and then add in the tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. This is the vitamin C ingredient and it's oil soluble. That's why I'm mixing it in with the surfactants to help solubilize it. Now let's go back to the xanthan gum glycerin slurry with the bright orangeness. We are gonna take that container and pour the phase B in, in it, which are the watery ingredients and mix together until you get this gorgeous gel. It looks so good. I love this orange. It looks amazing on camera. 
And then we're going to pour in the phase C, which are the surfactants and the vitamin C and just gently mix everything together. You don't want to make it lather up too much because it will start foaming and lathering because we added the surfactants. So be gentle here. Now for the last part, I'm going to be adding in some red jojoba beads or jojoba pearls. They go by kind of the same name. I don't know what the difference are between the two, but uh, yeah, I chose red. You can use whatever color you want. I thought the red would complement the orange. I still don't know what I think about the way this looks. I think it looks okay. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Should I have used white? Either way, I incorporated all of those. You can use whatever percentage you want. I just didn't want to use too much. I don't know. I felt like 1% was enough. Initially, I was going to do 3%, but I, I, I thought that was going to be too much. So 1% is what I went with. Then you want to pour it into your bottle. I'll have something similar linked down below. And there you go. You have your finished face wash. You do want to make sure it has a balanced pH anywhere between like 4.5 to 5.5. And I'll link down below to my video all about how to adjust the pH, how to take the pH, everything you need to know about pH. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. You get access to the entire backlog and for $10 a month, you can get a shout out for your small business. So let's shout everybody out. Nature's a farm girl. Let's blend LLC.com. Stardust bath and body over on Instagram hempygirl.com, shoplevis.com, owl and lily over on etsy, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendary bath and body, astari apothecary, revega cosmetics here on youtube, exorebb.com, pardo naturals, natural state skin, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatelier.com. You can use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, Shark City Naturals, and the rest of these companies are launching soon, skinbydavu.com, 7th House and Oak over on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, and mycrowninglowery.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Literally without the Patreon, I would not be able to continue doing what I do. You guys literally sponsor every single video, so thank you guys so much.